Hello and welcome. We're here today with Wei Feng, who's the chairman of ITUT's study group 11, which is historically looking at protocols and has now had uh, software-defined networks and some conformity and interoperability issues added to its remit. So welcome, Wei Feng. Hello. Uh, nice being here and uh, talk with you. I wonder if you could start by please outlining some of the key achievements of the previous study period between 2009 and 2012. Well, I think uh, in the last uh, study period, we mainly focus on the uh, NGN-related uh, you know, work, purely on the signal requirement and the protocol, uh, addressing those of the you know, protocol related to the IP you know, area. You have those, uh, you know, special related to the QoS protocols. We, we produce a package of uh, QoS protocols that can adapt to the, you know, fixed and the mobile network. And that's the, you can see, is uh, is quite uh, popular in the industry. And also we produce the the, the protocol and the signal requirement for the NGN services. And you have those, you know. Uh, voice and the video and also the data service and how to you know guarantee you know the interoperability that's the job of the work as 11 and uh, I think uh, during last study period the one of the most important work is the performance and the interoperability uh, that's the within s 11 we have uh, one special working party that's addressing these issues and we attract quite a lot of participation from developing countries. You can see China and uh, Russia and uh, those countries, they contribute a lot. As also, we have developed countries like Japan uh, and other countries, they contribute a, bit, uh, a lot. I think uh, gradually we see uh, in ITUT, we, we see more and more participation on these areas and all industry. Uh, also noticed the importance of the you know CNI, and uh, also for the CNI, it's not only just provide the testing you know, package for industry. It's also a way for the developing countries to know the technologies, and uh, you know by s through the testing the equipment, and we know the how technology involved and uh, how. You know, we can save the cost for the, you know, our, you know, customers. That's all the issues, you know, our CNI program tried to address. And uh, clearly, WTSA significantly uh, increased your work in the area of, of conformity and interoperability. But it also added a new topic uh, to study group uh, 11's remit, that was software-defined networking. I, wa I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about uh, and that and the importance of that work uh, taking place in, uh, in, in ITUT across the two groups, study group 11 and study group 13. Yes, uh, you are right. I think uh, uh, CNI is one issues, and uh, for this industry, we always, you know, notice the uh, mer uh, merge or converge of the technology, especially the term of ICT. Now, in the past, IP influenced the uh, telecom a lot, so we have so-called NGN, that's IP enabled network. Now, the new concept. Uh, is something called uh, you know SDN. It's uh, some one kind of the future network, and it's uh, purely IT oriented, and that's something the the SD11 can make a role. Since IT technology is quite different from our traditional telecommunications, normally they have you know the top to the down process. Normally you have the architecture requirement, and you go to the you know, the protocol and the, the way to implement. But IT ways are just opposite. They from the bottom to the up. They have bricks and then they build the whole pictures. And for protocols, you if you notice during the last uh, 15 years, the name of SG11 never changes. It's only regard to this, the technique, the ways to implement those services. So. S11 is quite, uh, you know, adapt to this IT concept. That's the blocks uh, and the bricks, and we try to adapt and to see how it can, you know, be used in our telecom network. 
Okay. Mm. Well, thank you very much, Wei Feng, for giving us an overview of Study Group 11's work in the uh, in the past and uh, in the uh, for the next few years. Thank you, President.